Check out popcrunch.com, the web's premier celebrity tabloid. Go. <laughs> Giving to charities is one activity that people always seem to want to do more of. Each year people donate millions to charitable organizations, but also give away millions to fraudulent charities. We thought about creating our own fake charity to supply our out of control spending habits, including our director's addiction to a hooker named charity, but decided against it. Damn it! We here at The Daily Idea know you want to give, and we have come up with this guide to help you figure out what places aren't taking your money for a free ride. First, do your research. You want to make sure you look into the charity and their background. This is work that you need to do on your own. Don't just take other people's word for it. My Uncle Bob always wears a t-shirt that says, Support Single Moms with a picture of a stripper on a pole. No matter how much he tries to tell me he is running a serious charity down at Silly Sam's Bait Shop and Exotic Dance Emporium, I can't take his word for it. Flash doesn't always equal substance. Some groups will put together some really good marketing materials and leave them in public places or send them to your house. Just because there is a lot of production value and their pitch sounds good doesn't mean you are going to be supporting a quality charity. Call this the water world example. No matter how much money is dumped into something, it doesn't make it good. Those bins that you see at the local convenience store with the nice signs aren't always legit. Find out how the money is spent. You will find while a charity is legitimate, it isn't always run very well. While the money you're sending to support little Unabutu in Ethiopia is eventually getting to him, it might be a really small fraction of what you are donating. Some charities have high overhead costs, including paying executives exorbitant salaries. While the charity itself might not be as crooked as Sarah Michelle Gellar's nose, the executives may be. So check into this by getting a rundown of how the money is spent. Don't flock. Think for yourself. While we don't want to tell you how to spend your money, there are plenty of charities that do good work that don't have a celebrity endorsing it or are not a hot cause. Examine the charities that exist in your city. They are often neglected as they aren't the cause du jour. We hope these tips can be helpful to you. Now we are off to stop the director from visiting charity. It's true love. You can't stop us. That's another daily idea. Pop Crunch is updated daily with everything from who's drinking too much to who's not eating enough. Find out who's out of rehab, who's out of the closet, and who's out on bail today. For the latest celebrity dirt, popcrunch.com. Okay. I hear Tanya, I think. Oh. Okay. <laughs> then. Okay. We need to slow that one down. While the charity itself might not be as crooked as seller. <laughs> <laughs> You're sending to support little uh, Unabutu. My bad. Okay. About creating our own fake charity to. <laughs> I did it again there.